This is episode 17 of me sitting down once a week to talk about life and business. Welcome back to Monday Diaries. Don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> it is midday on a Sunday, down here at the park like normal, and it is quite warm today, hence the shirt off and the no shoes. I try to keep my feet as grounded as possible. And like always, this is gonna be a raw update, just one take, and just power through as much as I can and keep it as interesting as possible. So, quick Art of Mondays update. We are getting close to the first six figure mark not that it's about money for me but obviously that validates a good business model so i think we're about 80k so far we're three and a half months in and i document all of it uh, live and public here on youtube so the ups and the downs you get to hear if you subscribe and, and follow along um, but i'm going to change gears real quick talk about life and then we'll circle back to art of mondays so for those who don't know i live with a bunch of my best mates there's kind of a few apartments together in a in a block and uh, yeah, we just jam out every day. We have a lot of fun alongside most of us working online and, and building our things as well. So we get to jam out about that as well. And last week we invited all of our parents around for a group dinner on our roof, which was the first time they'd all been in one place together. And it was so fascinating to see, well, first of all, the people that birthed and raised all of our friendship group and, uh, and helped them become the people that they are. And just like, it was fun, you know, it was also, it felt like one big family. And then after dinner, it turned into this. <laughs> which is such a crack up. And uh, it kind of raised this idea around like the people that you live with is such a life hack. It comes back to environment. It comes back to people that you spend time with. But I think it goes deeper than that. It's, it's like, the actual physical space that you're in, the amount of natural light that you have inside uh, really determines your happiness a lot of the time or your focus or your uh, abundance and your energy. And so many people overlook this. I grew up in a cluttered home with uh, you know, nine people and dark furniture and too much furniture. And it just like leads to a closed and cluttered mind in, in my opinion anyway. And so when I was old enough and I moved out of home, and, and I had the means to do so, I, I think it's so worth paying a little bit extra for a space that's really suited to your needs and um, is able to call in more abundance and more money for you anyway. So you end up earning more despite paying more for the space, at least that's how I look at it. So uh, yeah, it's, it's just like, it's such a life hack. It's just the people you surround yourself with, your place that you live, the places that you live, which leads to my next point, which is that in two weeks, or more like 10 days actually, I'm flying to Spain. I'm going with Flynn and Liam, who I already live with, uh, and also my co-founder Evan, and a bunch of other sort of friends who are in that online space, they're building things as well. Um, some Aussie guys, some from overseas, and we're all just sharing a house. There's 10 of us, and we're in Mallorca for three weeks, just about. And then we're gonna shoot over to Greece straight after that. Uh, that one's for an official Art of Mondays residency. So they're Art of Mondays members only. We've got another 10 people for that. Uh, that one I'm also very pumped for. And yeah, it just becomes this giant think tank of ideas where you can uh, not only problem solve with people, but you can also get new perspectives that you'd never would have thought of by yourself. A lot of founders are just caught up in their own little world and only have access to the things they can read online or um, you know see for themselves. So. I always find those huge in just unlocking ideas and scale and growth. Um, and also it's just fun to do life with interesting people. Mallorca is a great place too. We were there last year and there's just so many good hikes and the weather's great, it's near the ocean. So um, our plan is just to eat as much as we can, train as hard as we can, work as best we can, and then uh, make sure there's plenty of being present and um, being active in outdoors as well. So. 
I am very much looking forward to that. Jumping gears to Art of Mondays, we have just over 20 members now. That's across the two different groups. So we've got a main membership and a early movers group uh, for earlier stage founders. And yeah, that's the update there. <laughs> Uh, we open all, open doors once a month, so the next intake is the first Monday of May, a couple of weeks away. So if it tickles your, your fancy, feel free to reach out and we can chat about it. Um, and otherwise, in other news, we hired an editor that happened to be in Perth, so that was pretty convenient. I'm going to tee up a in-person kind of catch up and just like to throw around ideas and get to know them. But also we're going to hire another person. Uh, there's a book called Built to Sell, which I listened to and, and read a lot when I was running the agency. And it's just a, a great book, to be honest, if you run any sort of service business. But uh, in there, it talks about, you know, when you hire salespeople, hire two because then they kind of, there's this natural competition between them. And so for us hiring editors, the goal is, is of course, to gamify that and um, to really increase our reach and demand online. So uh, if there's multiple people kind of, working towards the same thing there can be that friendly competition so that's going to happen we're going to be heavily um outcome focused so you know paying a lot more bonuses and things when things go well videos get views etc so it makes it possible to do that and we're essentially going all in on short form content i'll be posting 90 times a month which is essentially three times a day uh that will be spread across a couple of different accounts but uh high volume and that is super intentional i'm also getting much more inspired by YouTube. I touched on this last week, but uh, I don't know. I feel like these weekly raw updates don't necessarily show the lifestyle and the routine and my training and what I eat and what it's actually like to be an online entrepreneur, I suppose. And um, a couple of people I've been following recently, Daniel Dalen was was one that popped up on YouTube. Really love his style. And uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to pull back the curtain a bit and maybe share a bit more. So not, not so much a vlog, but just more of a lifestyle orientated thing where you can see more into what I get up to and hopefully give some more value to you guys. And then I'll keep up with these weekly Roy episodes too. So if that sounds interesting, drop a comment, let me know what you want to see. And uh, maybe I'll post some more on YouTube, but I see it as a long-term game. I know it's a lot of work. I know it's a lot of commitment. Uh, I'm fairly proud of myself to have been sticking out this weekly so far um, but I also really believe in frictionless systems like they have to be easy to do they can't take a huge amount of effort uh, or time or energy because then it's just forcing something and for me frictionless is the way to go so these are relatively easy because I just sit down for 20 minutes once a week so I want to keep it something like that but we'll see uh, I'm rambling now so subscribe if you want to follow along with the journey and hope you start fucking with Mondays too peace